Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to give a user password to sudo access on the Linux system. So guys, what do you mean by sudo access or rights? It simply means that the user has the rights to read, modify or execute any files in the system as the sudo user has. What we'll be doing today is that we'll be creating a new user on the Linux system and then we'll give the user sudo rights. After doing this, the user has to type in the password to get into the sudo terminal. So to avoid this type of password while logging in, we'll enable passwordless sudo access. So as you see again, I have three terminals here, namely node 1, node 2, node 3. I have logged in into each of the three machines using SSH. And what I'll be doing is that I'll be performing the same set of commands on the three machines. I'll begin in by typing the user add command and I'll be adding user yeah, minus m stands for making a user home directory and adding the user itself. Parallelly, I'll be executing this into the other two terminals that is node 2 and node 3 namely. Now if I type su on the username, what it will do is it will enter the terminal of the user. So you can see it's user at node 1. Whereas dollar indicates that it's not a sudo terminal right now. So I'll be executing this other three terminals again. As you can see, I have logged in to the user terminal in all the three machines by typing in the command SEO user. Now, what you can do is that you can enter sudo mode by typing in sudo SEO, but if you haven't given it the sudo rights, you can't get into the terminal. So you can try it on your computer, you'll fail. So to get the sudo rights, I'll be typing in vi sudo and I'll have to edit the file to give the user all the permissions to read, write and execute as the root user has. At the, I'll be adding the entry at the bottom of the file and making the copy of the root entry. As you can see root all is equal to bracket in bracket there's all and in space all. So these are three commands like read, read, write, execute, you can find it on Google if you like, what does it mean. Here I'll be typing in the username instead of root so that the user has all the rights to perform as the root user has. Now if I type in sudo su to get into the terminal, the sudo terminal, so you can see it's asking me for the password. If I type in the right password, I'll get into the sudo terminal. But our aim is not that. As you know, we want passwordless sudo rights to the user. We'll have to put that entry in the vi sudo file. So in beginning with editing, editing the previous entry, I'll delete the previous entry and I'll again make a copy of the root entry. I'll type in no password. This is the last all so that it doesn't require password while getting into the sudo terminal. Modifying the username from root to user. Thus will enable the no password sudo access for the user. I'm getting into the terminal of user by typing in su user. I'll type in sudo and any command which I like so that it indicates I'm using sudo rights. As you see, it is executing it without requiring any password. You can see that sudo su has also been executed without using any password. Similarly, I'll be doing this in node 2. I'll be adding the same entry as I've done in node 1. And saving this, I have enabled passwordless sudo access on node 2. Similarly, I have enabled it on node 3 also by putting the entry and saving it. So guys, this was the end of the tutorial. 
Don't forget to like, share and drop comments on the video. And please subscribe Amazing Admins channel on YouTube.